Okay guys, today we're going to go over a tutorial on how we can fix this little issue that I have for my Microsoft Xbox One adapter, which um, Microsoft fails to provide a tutorial for it, and even if they do, it doesn't really work. So I'm going to show you what the issue is. It's called the Xbox ACC. Now it's the wireless adapter for the Xbox One, which I'll go ahead and show up a little link. Xbox One wireless. So it's this. So if you have this issue with the wireless adapter, this video will basically figure it out. As you can see, it says other devices Xbox ACC. It's actually ended up listed as a network adapter when it's done. So if you don't know where it's at, it's a network adapter once you finish once I show you how to fix it. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to go over to this website. Shoot. There we go. Microsoft Update Catalog, and we're going to put in Xbox Wireless. I'm going to type that in. It's this one right here. Um, this is the version of it, so this is the latest version of the driver. Um, as you can see, other hardware, my Xbox, Xbox Wireless adapter for Windows. The 360 one's also down here too, so if you want the 360 one, you can get it here too. But that's not for Windows 10, I believe. Uh, it goes all the way up to Windows 8.1, but this one is for Windows 10. So, Windows 10 and, yeah. This one's for testing. This one, I downloaded this one, but um, I was told that it runs better when you use this one. So, I can download this one. So, you click Download. You show up a little download dialog, and then you get this little link right here. A little cab file. So, what you do with the cab file is you extract everything... I'm going to extract everything out into my desktop, so all of it's right here. And so we're going to go over to Update Driver. Sorry, I'm giving a little hiccup. And then you browse My Computer for Driver Software. You choose a custom location, you send it straight to your desktop. Click OK. Next. Installs the driver. OK. And there you go, you got the driver now. So what we're going to do, go all the way down to Settings. And now we're going to con connect the actual controller to the to the Xbox adapter. So we're going to go all the way down to devices, uh, connected devices. And as you can see, we have the Xbox wireless adapter right there. So obviously it's showing up correctly. So we're going to need to connect the actual Xbox One controller. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And it seems like it's already synced up. So there it is right there, Xbox One wireless controller. So it's ar I already have mine synced up. If you don't know how to sync it up, hit the hold the sync button until it's uh, blinking like heavily and then you hold the sync button on the adapter itself and the, how you tell whether or not if it's done is if it stopped blinking and it's solid uh, white. Anyways guys I hope this uh, this tutorial helped you um, hit me with the like, hit the subscribe if you want more videos you know what to do. Um, I was told that it might this webpage the Xbox One or the catal Microsoft catalog it might run horribly on um, Google Chrome, I was told it does, but as you can see, I'm using it quite fine. So, you know, I guess since this is the end of the video, I'll catch you guys on the next one.